Um, Maximilian, Melon Owens, Big C. We're in the house, the Rams, Melon Heads, RWO. We're gonna help the team win today, baby, let's do it! The Melon Heads were started um, many years ago. I think it was 1982. I started wearing a watermelon on my head because I wanted to fire up the crowd. My thing was, look at how silly I look. Come on, let's let's get going. You know, it's okay to make some noise. You know, be uninhibited. We want the Rams to have the best home field in the league. And we go there and we party like it's carnival. And we let everyone know you're up there to have a good time. This is not work. Go have fun. You know, whatever that is to you. But but make some noise while you're at it, though. Who's house? Who's house? We do have a plan to lose our voices by the second quarter. So you know, we're gonna be loud. It's not about looking pretty with a watermelon on your head. Anyone can do that. It's about coming home with no voice. Football's an emotional game, and crowd energy can really help the team win, and, and I'm a big believer you know, in, in creating that, that energy to help our team. People really listen when you have a watermelon on your head. That's true. <laughs> My dad was one of the creators with Lance, and uh, 1988, right when I was born, just was part of the patch. I think I wore my first melon when I was like two years old. Yeah, I was just kind of born into it. I'm very, very thankful that I was because it's, it's an honor to put a melon on your head and go to the game. I used to be a big Ram fan as a kid. Well, I still am. But uh, I'd always have to get extra tickets for my mom to take me, or I would take the RTD bus to the Orange County bus, and it was like a big dilemma. When I got down to the games, I noticed all the real fans sat over by the tunnel. So I went and I would go sit by them. And I found out they all live on my side of town, so I asked them for a ride. And uh, Lance told me, yeah, but uh, you got to wear a melon. And I said, for sure I'll do that. Absolutely, that's an honor. This has been the most challenging year so far to find large watermelons. Back in the day, we used to get the long seeded melons, not the seedless, but the blimp-shaped ones. Now, apparently, all the stores have only the seedless already. They're shorter and more round. Literally, hold them in the store and hold them up and look in the mirror. People are usually like, what the heck's that guy doing? But I'm trying to see, like, how's that going to look on my head? I have a reputation to keep. I'm Record holder, 41 pounds. <coughs> Lance, I know he thinks he's had the biggest melon, but mine by far was the biggest. It was 46 pounds, wasn't it? 46 pounds. You know, anyways, I like to have a big giant. If you're gonna go melon, go big, you know? I personally start dead center because I'm a fanatic. I make a little tiny mark for my center spot like that. Basically what you do is you gotta start with a smaller circle right here. You kind of carve out the edges ever so gently so you don't rip the melon because then you'd have to start all over and that'd be no good. The worst thing you could do is cut the hole too big. So then you got what we call floppy melon. And it just yeah. doesn't, it's not cool. Nobody likes a floppy melon. No. Once you get a hole, you carve out all the red. Get all the red out, like visine. I mean, I still got some work to do, but you basically want it to where it's all the rind, no. You don't want that stuff dripping on your head. After we get the red out, we dry it out, which is usually overnight. You need a good melon tailor. It takes years of practice to get good at this. A melon can do, do a couple of things to you. First of all, it can, it can dig into your forehead throughout the afternoon. Sky is not really into the big melons. I usually like mine kind of wide. Um, and Lance, he just goes, tries to get the biggest one possible. I like the mobility of like a 17 to 20 pounder. I like to be able to gesticulate as I need to during the games to get the crowd hype. So I like to have a smaller melon. All right, it's getting there. So decoration time soon. Getting close. Your artistic talent can come into play or not. You could wear it plain or, you know, I like to write rams on mine. And, um, and then it's game time. I wanted to go as far as it could go. I mean, if 90,000 want to wear it, 90,000 it is. As much melon as possible would be awesome. And to win a Super Bowl. To watch the Rams win the Super Bowl with the melon on my head, that'd be the ultimate.